We're so thrilled to be able to present this exhibition of paintings by Winston Churchill. We're calling it the art of diplomacy, and it really explores this idea that art is something that can be used to change the world. It really did change Churchill's life. It enabled him to come back from deep depression and go on to become the statesman that we all know uh, from our history books. And so this is a great exhibition to come in and see because it really shows you how art can be a part of someone's life and make a difference. You know, Winston Churchill was 40 years old before he picked up a paintbrush for the very first time. Well, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to see so many people coming through to see the paintings. I mean, these paintings have been all over the state of Georgia, including as part of a much larger exhibition in, in Atlanta. And uh, just seeing people see them, enjoy them, seeing people just really take away something from them, um, it's just very gratifying for us and very humbling as well. The painting was so crucial for him. Uh, not only did it help him give him regain perspective at difficult times, but it gave him the skills that he needed to be in a position in 1940, in that darkest hour of my country's uh, history, to be there to rally the people, to give the orders, to give the instructions in order to make sure that we still survive today. Roosevelt had the little White House. It was his retreat here in Georgia where, that he visited a number of times during his lifetime and during the war as well. So there were connections uh, to the state that to a large extent had to do with Franklin Roosevelt and, and they were such good friends they were, and their relationship became so much closer during the war. The exhibition is interesting not only in that everything that you see behind me is essentially the therapy of Winston Churchill. Uh, there is a 300-year connection that he had through his ancestor, John Churchill, with our state. It's one of the reasons that you'll see General Oglethorpe's portrait over here. Uh, the Churchills trained Oglethorpe in military tactics, which is why we exist in the first place. I think for someone who was, you know, what you might call a Sunday painter, um, he's remarkably talented. But I think that uh, what people need to learn from the story is the fact that we all need to have something in our lives that we can go to when we are, you know, stressed and uh, just, just in a difficult moment in order that we can regain the balance, the perspective, uh, in order to carry on.